You know, it's kind of strange to me that a lot of boot camps and some courses and even some YouTubers will kind of make learning how to code and becoming a programmer and getting a job as a developer seem like a get rich quick scheme, seem like a easy button for making a ton of money and having the dream job and living on easy street. I feel that they're doing a disservice to people who are coming in and wanting to pursue software development as a career and wanting to become a self-taught programmer or you know go to boot camp or just learn how to code in general because it almost gives off this sleazy kind of car salesman you know, I'm trying to sell you something pyramid scheme vibe. And I know I've had people that commented that on my videos before, that it sounds like I'm trying to sell people on learning how to code or I'm trying to sell them something in order for them to become a self-taught programmer. And while there are a lot of people that sell courses and different materials that can help you get a job and whatnot, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to tell you that you can become a self-taught programmer or learn how to code by going to boot camp or by college or by any of those means. But I just want you to know that it's not gonna be quick and it's not gonna be easy. And if some of these boot camps and a lot of people on the internet are making it seem like that's gonna be the case, I'm just telling you from experience that that's not gonna be the case. It's gonna be very difficult. It's gonna take a long time. It's gonna take many hours of studying and many hours of dedicating your time to building projects and networking and applying for jobs and learning new things and building more projects and working on your portfolio and then learning the next technology that is in high demand in your area so you can make yourself more marketable. And there's just so much stuff that goes goes into learning how to code and getting a job. And the one that irks me the most is when I hear it from boot camps and all these new boot camps keep popping up. I have a video where I talk about how boot camps are out of control because you just see right now it's kind of like a gold rush and coding is this big thing. It has been for the last like five to 10 years or so. Everybody wants to get into software development. So all of these different boot camps are coming out of the woodwork trying to offer people the quick and easy way to getting a job as a developer and yes, while some of them do have good intentions and they want to get people hired, you're not guaranteed to get a job in three months just because you went to a boot camp. And oftentimes, the thing that I hear the most from people is that they want to go to a boot camp because it's going to help them. It's going to give them an edge. It's going to say that they, they went through this course and they have that on their resume. And that's going to be the thing that's going to separate them from a lot of other potential candidates for software developer jobs. And while that may be a little bit true, you know, you give me a self-taught programmer who's been learning for the last year or so and has a bunch of projects that they've built and open source projects that they've worked on and they have a nice portfolio and they have a little bit of experience whether it be freelancing or building sites for some small businesses in their area and then you give me a candidate who's fresh out of a boot camp three months wet behind the ears hasn't really built anything on their own except for the stuff that they built while they were in their boot camp and they really don't have the same amount of experience and they haven't spent the same amount of time learning as someone who is self-taught for a longer period of time I'll take the self-taught developer. You know, it really all depends on the skills and the technology that you're familiar with and the stuff that you built when it comes to getting your first web developer job or software developer job. And it doesn't really matter if you went to a boot camp or if you went self-taught. So with all these different boot camps claiming that they can get you a job quickly and you're gonna make a ton of money and you're gonna be making six figures and you're gonna be working at Netflix or Uber or another fan company and you're gonna be living this lavish life of a software developer you know, kind of take that with a grain of salt, do your research and really think that if it was that easy, wouldn't everyone be doing it? And wouldn't there be a ton of other boot camp graduates or self-taught programmers that get a job almost immediately? You know, that would be the case, but it's not. You More so, you see a lot of people who try to learn how to code and end up giving up and never get a job and they just kind of let it fall to the wayside and follow the next thing that they try to pursue. And that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to let people who are just getting into learning how to code know that you're in for a long road. This isn't gonna be something that's quick. This isn't gonna be something that's easy, but it is something that's achievable and it's totally doable. As long as you decide that you're gonna make the commitment to learn how to code and get a job and you continue to do it and you follow all the steps that you hear everyone talk about, you know, build projects, build a portfolio, build a resume, start applying for jobs, network, and just keep building upon all that stuff that you're learning. If you do all those things, you can become a developer. You can get a job as a software engineer. But 
don't think it's going to be easy and quick because you're just going to set yourself up for failure, honestly. And I kind of thought that a little bit when I went into it. I, I wasn't necessarily thinking it was going to be a get rich quick scheme. I felt like it was going to be something that may not be as difficult as I thought it was when I first got into it. Although I thought that programming was really, really hard. I thought that maybe learning just enough would get me a job. But the truth was I ended up having to spend a lot more time and I ended up having to learn a lot more things before I actually got my first job as a self-taught developer. And luckily I didn't completely think that it was going to be quick and easy because I probably would have gave up and would have never got that first job. So with all that said, I just want to let anyone know who's watching this video and who's trying to learn how to code that it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be hard, but take your time, learn what you have to learn, work on becoming job ready and you can do it. All right, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you've been learning how to code and you went in thinking that it was gonna be easy and you're still doing it and you're still struggling through it, or if you're just getting started now and you're finding that it's a lot harder than you thought it was, let me know in the comments what you've been going through and how you feel about learning how to code and becoming a programmer because I love to hear everyone's thoughts and experience with how their journey is going. So let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.